It's the sad reality of our times, our state, and even the Treasure Valley. Teen suicide is on the rise. CDC data shows that people ages 15 to 19 are 35 percent more likely to take their own life compared to kids in the same age bracket in the year 1999. And more recently, we're seeing kids die by suicide in our local schools. The Boise School District explained this in a letter to parents and families this week. The letter says, the reality of our community's ongoing struggle with mental health has hit our school families hard this year. In only a few short weeks, our crisis response team has been called into action for multiple student deaths and one teacher death. The letter says that some of the deaths are accidents, but multiple others have been suicide. This is a public health issue, and it's one that hurts. It leaves families and friends with more questions than answers and a pain that doesn't go away. Andrew Bartline reports. The signs are everywhere if you're looking. Can't change the past, you know. Katie McClellan, but she's already seen them. This was on April 23rd of 2022. Alongside her mother, Natalie Needham. Kind of a, a life shattering experience, losing a child to suicide. This is evidence of this random kid saying that she's guilty of owing me 28 bucks. He was 14. He hated me a little bit, or hated me. He definitely loved me a lot. Mom, <laughs> entertaining at times and <laughs> exasperating at other times. Just typical sibling rivalry, I guess, but they were also extremely close, and I was grateful that they had that bond. They shared a deep connection, and it was Katie that knew him best. He also struggled with opening up a lot. So, you know, he would shut down and just wouldn't want to talk on that kind of level. But usually it was just like he needed presence of somebody else. Just like that feeling of somebody loves me, you know. It was also Katie who was there for Charlie at his worst. He was, he was still alive when I found him. It was a life shattering moment to get that call. The family says Charlie struggled with mental health. They tried treatment, they tried counseling, anything else they could think of. Now, there were other factors, I think, that were unknown to us at the time, and the bullying topic, which is kind of a hot topic and a little bit of a catchphrase, but it's a really, really big problem. There's a lot of stigma around suicide. With no easy solution, uh, yeah. ask Chris. Because you just can't talk about that anywhere else, right? It's, it's kind of a he's Charlie's taboo father, you know? And he's on a mission now to find a home for a memory cast in marble. I think this is the moment when I broke, when I realized what I was doing on the internet, searching for a headstone for my kid. And I came across this and it just, the, the face, facial expression just gave me this feeling. Like looking in a mirror. <laughs> like, it just made me feel better. I just, this is how I felt. For the family? No. It's how they continue to feel. I'll, I'll never, I'll never be the same person again. The statues become a passion project, a comfort in darkness, a sign of hope for others looking to. Buy some land, of course, and tuck it back in the cemetery, but that's not where I want it to live. I want people to see this every day, and like people are gonna wonder, they're gonna talk about it, they're gonna ask about it. It's gonna come up in conversation. But I guess just to, to let other parents know that they're not alone and to reach out. Chris says he wants to find a public home for this statue where people in Boise will see it while they're going about their day-to-day -day lives and ideally to create conversation about teen suicide, about suicide in general. Natalie has also created a website called, quote, Change for Charlie. It is a resource that has uh, discusses solutions, I should say, to help young people struggling with mental health and things that could be legislation or school policy. They talked about bullying being a factor as well, Joe. We will have a link to that website on our website when we post this web story. And of course, you know, genuine human connection is what his father's saying is really the key to uh, some of these problems. A, a deep, genuine connection can help someone in social isolation, yeah. Joe. And uh, there's a suicide crisis hotline. We should be able to throw that graphic up for you now at the bottom of the screen. That number is 988 for anybody who uh, needs to have a conversation or know someone who could use help. Yeah, it's a very difficult topic that I know our community is dealing with right now, and it's a conversation that's tough to have. So I really appreciate this family sharing their story and um, you know, peace and blessings to them. It's it's unimaginable, um, and, and yeah. thank you for your story. Thank you, Joe.